Hey, what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, yes, you right there then welcome to my channel garden So before I hop into today's video, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel Please make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also make sure to comment down below without further ado Let's jump on into this video So you guys today I'm going to be making a paluma as you guys read in the title so a few videos back, I did ask you guys if you guys wanted to see some hot boy slash hot girl summer, even though summer is like kind of already like ending. But if y'all wanted to see those type of drinks that I always love making and I be, you know, sipping on or whatever, cause bad bitches like drinking too. So a lot of you guys did say to make some drinks, so that's what we're gonna be doing for this video. And if you don't know what a paluma is, basically all my ingredients I have are right here. And then my all-time favorite, because you already know I'm only rocking with one chamoy brand, going on almost three years strong, is my favorite Chelita Chamoy. Remember to use my discount code, period, for percentage off of your order. And that's such an easy discount code to remember too, because it's just P-E-R-I-O-D, who don't say period. Do yourself a favor, use my discount code, and save some money also. Tag me in your drinks, because I love seeing you guys, you guys make some drinks, and you don't necessarily need to drink when you use a chilita chamoy. I'm gonna also do some non-alcoholic beverages that you can use using the chilita chamoy. Also, they have gummy sours, anything you name it. Candy-wise, they got it. So remember to use my discount code, period. And without further ado, let's hop it on making this video. Let's hop in this video because I don't know about y'all, I'm thirsty. So hopefully by the end of this video, you guys are thirsty as well. And if you guys do decide to make these, remember to tag me on my Instagram and don't be private so I can repost them because I love seeing the feedback and love because y'all support is everything to me and I wouldn't be who I am today doing these videos if it weren't for you guys. So enough of me rambling and let's jump on in today's Paluma con Cristobal. Hey! on my apron because why wouldn't I because I don't want to get dirty in this lovely outfit to me I feel like I didn't just throw this on and get ready for this video as I mentioned before these are the aprons I'm going to be coming out with it says I'm the dessert and then it has my at name right here sorry if there's like pelitos from mi perros but let's get a close-up I'm gonna do a more in depth uh, on the different colors the designs why I did all that like why I decided why I decided to go with this name and everything and the designs and the colors. I'm going to do a full separate video when I actually launch. But I know I've been getting a lot of questions when, when, when. Just stay tuned because you already know I've been cooking it up. So I was like, you know what? Why not create an apron? Because everyone cooks and who wants to get dirty when they cook? Don't stop wiping your manos on your clothes. That's, that's not cute. Get a cute apron. Even though I haven't wiped it on here. But yeah, so I'm going to put my apron on. So what I'm going to do first is juggle it up, just kidding. I'm not a pinchy payaso, even though I look like one. Did he get it? No, mm, tough crowd. So what I'm gonna do first before I do anything is I'm gonna cut up my frutas. So I'm going to first cut the limes. I'm gonna just cut them normal in half like so. So with this, I'm gonna cut it straight down in the half like so. Mm, this looks so good, my mouth is watering. With my other half, I'm gonna cut diagonal slices because these are the slices we're gonna use to put on like the rim because you know, you gotta get that full Miami effect. I don't know why, but for some reason, every time I drink and make palumas, it reminds me of like if I'm in Miami because that's when like, I don't know, you just have more fun in Miami. So now you guys, I'm gonna get a limon and I'm gonna cut it the same way because you know, like I said, presentation. So we're gonna cut it sideways so now you guys i got my cup so i don't know why it tastes so different like especially when you're when i'm dehydrated and i put some water and drink it like i don't know why the taste of like the ceramic is just so good now we're gonna go with my chili tacha moy my favorite so i don't know if i want sandia original or orange i think i'm gonna do original because you can never go wrong with original uh, my favorite from them is tamarindo and oh my gosh I need to restock soon, girl. So if you're watching this, send your boy some, cuz. Period. So now, I'm gonna open it on up. Oh my gosh, if you guys could just smell this right now. It is so freaking good, like, so freaking good. And look, they stay fresh for a while. So now I'm just gonna dip it. Okay, this is my main thing, like, 
I'm coming for all y'all right now. I've seen a lot of people when they use chamoy in general and they get a spoon or a fork and put it, that makes me cringe so freaking bad. So let me put you guys on because you could do this with any drink, any anything before, like let's say if this was a beer can, before you open it, do it like that. Like, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's easier and way better this way. So you're gonna grab the rim. Okay, this is the rim, right? You're gonna dip it like this sideways and you're just gonna go all the way around. All the way around, all the way around, all the way around. And you don't get it like, you know, everywhere dirty. You don't have to dirty that dish. Cause I see a lot of people do like that and I'm like, ah, let me put you on because I don't know, I've always done it like this cause I would try the spoon method and it just would never work good for me. Cause I'm just like, okay, it's like not going on perfect. And I have OCD so I'm like, I need perfecto, mijo, perfecto. So I'm gonna also, you do, uh, so the second one I'm gonna do in orange because I want it to still be like that fruity since it's gonna be a grapefruit. I want it to, you know, have that like fruity vibe, tropical vibe. So like I said, just get it, rim, 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 rim. So I was in the Marcado today and I found this, I don't know what kind, it says it's chamoy. But it's clearly Lucas, but it is straight from Mexico. Look, get a little close about this. I think this is so freaking cute. I was like, I need to get this because this is just so freaking cute. Also, the squirt is from Mexico and also the tequila is from Mexico. We didn't eat the aguave. Also, what is really cute is it's a little smiley face. So I'm gonna add a little and a little. So this is my side and clearly I have two sides dripping. So I'm going to add a little. I'm just gonna Sprinkle it on like so. I'm going to do just some normal tajin. So this is how they look after I'm done. I'm done putting the chalita chamoy. After I'm done putting the lucas and the tajin on them. Now we're gonna go and add some ice in both of them. So I'm gonna fill it up to the rim of ice like so. Now they're both filled up with some yellow. So now I'm going to add my uh, margarita mix and it's ruby red. I do believe ruby red, this one, one in particular, is made out of grapefruit. I was looking for uh, actual like Paluma margarita mix but I couldn't find it and I didn't have enough time to like look everywhere so I was like, you know what? So I'm gonna put half of it in here and have like half, the whole bottle, half and half. So then that equals the whole bottle. So next, I'm going to put the squirt. And like I said, this squirt is from Mexico. Oh my gosh, I feel like anything from Mexico, it just tastes so much better. Like the Chetos, the, the Coca-Colas, like El Cocaina, but everything, just kidding y'all. Everything tastes really better from there. So I'm gonna actually pour like not a lot in mine, but okay, yeah, I'm gonna fill it up to like right there. Cause me personally, I like not tasting the alcohol like that. So I'm gonna do both like that. I'm gonna fill it up a little past the ice. Big grapefruit and I'm gonna squeeze it in both of them like so. Be greedy with it, don't be greedy with it. So now I'm gonna do the limes. I'm gonna do a full half one in the cup. Our drinks are almost done. I know you're like, thank you, hurry it up. But all we have left to do now is pour the shots, 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 shots. Like I said, I got me tequila. So I have my shot glasses right here. I'm gonna just put one in one shot and then I'm gonna taste it and then go from there. Cause you don't wanna add too much. It's just like cooking. If you add too much, you can't go back from it. So if you put so much alcohol, you're like, I, like I said, I like enjoying the flavors. I don't like, you know, just tasting straight up alcohol. So. Now I'm gonna grab a straw and I'm going to mix it up and then I'm gonna taste it because like I said, you gotta taste it. Ooh, that tequila strong, boy. Hold on, I only put a shot. See, yours tastes so much better. You taste the squirt more, but in mine, you taste the tequila more. So I'm gonna add more squirt. Like I said, that's why you have to try them. Oh, girl, you gotta make sure it's to your liking. It's just like cooking, like no. Let's try it again. Okay, yeah, that's actually way better. So now for the last step, we're just gonna add our, our grapefruit on the sides cause you know, she's a little bougie, whatever. So I'm gonna just cut it in the middle, like, you know, nothing too crazy. And we're gonna add it. 
So now I'm gonna cut the limones the same thing in the middle and I'm gonna just add them on the side next to it. So you guys, there you have it. That is how I make my palumas. So like I said, they're so freaking delicious. Oh my goodness. So the proper way to drink them, yes, there's a proper way. So you gotta lick some chamoy with tahini and then sip it like so. Let me get on this side, the good side. Mmm. Mmm. If only you guys could taste this. This is delicious. So you guys, like I said, if you do end up making these, remember to tag me on my Instagram down below. And that being said, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. Remember to drink responsibly and don't get behind the wheel. It is never worth it because just get a Lyft or an Uber or a friend to pick you up at the end of the day. So that being said, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. And if you guys want more videos like this, please remember to comment down below to, you know, motivate me to, you know, give the content that you guys want and desire. So that being said, remember to always stay classy, never trash and just a little nasty. Chris Wissad loves you. Bye.